All praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honors, double honors to Apostle and Elders in New York, GMS. And uh, salutations to you all. Uh, you Aki on this teaching truth on your last online for and shout out to you series Aki out there's looking at our videos. My name is Maya Kaala Bun Guide with Chicago branch of Great Millstone. Like to make a disclaimer that we are not black Hebrew Israelites. We are Israelites. The Israelites are the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans and speckled bird is scattered abroad. Speckled birds are Israelites who look like other nations, but their father's paternal bloodline. Go back to the 12 patriarchs of Israel. We are not affiliated with any black identity stream groups. All right. We're not affiliated with any Islamic groups. We're not affiliated with any other Israelite groups. Israelite groups. All right. And black is a color, not a nationality. All right. And, you know, right here, man, you have uh, basically character assassination. Um, that folk, well, This is what he's doing, man. Trying to assassinate the character of the Israelites, man. All right. And usually he'll put black Hebrew Israelite, you know, but he ain't put it in here. But he did say black Hebrew Israelite in this video, man. All right. And just basically vocab and um, vocab, Cherry Love, David Wood, all, the, all these Christians, man. All right. They basically upset because they're upset and frustrated because there's nothing they could do against this truth. And. Uh, and basically, they um uh, the you know I believe voc vocab is set up man to to come against us man all right uh to come against us set up by the elite to try to confound us but they can't do nothing to confound us and just like the brother in Dallas said man um now they doing what you know in Boston you you know you got a good boss and he beat up his opponent was opponent do this opponent started to uh doing low blows man this is <laughs> low blows man. All right, because <laughs> nothing they could do uh, against the truth. It said Luke chapter 21, verse 15 it said, For I will give your mouth and wills, which all your adversaries should not be able to gainsay nor resist. All right, so you know, there's nothing vocab alone could do the truth, man. Could we prove with scriptures? We could uh, line up the scriptures with history that we, uh, the so called Negroes, Latino, Native American, speck of birds, are the Israelites that the Bible speaks of. Uh, and it is really is is frustrating. Uh, it's frustrating the top Edomites. It's frustrating the Joseph Joseph's pet Edomites like vocab alone, man. All right, that gas agent. And it, you know they angry, man. They they see that the so called Negro dog got his hand, pants hanging down, hanging on the corner smoking weed and doing all this stuff, all the anything that that goes against the Bible. Uh, he's he, they the so called Negro Latino they better stop doing man they just they just basically stop being uh, slaves and uh, you know Esau doesn't like that and other nations doesn't like that and they getting very afraid all right because you know uh, Israel is waking it up uh, Yahweh sent his son Yahweh shot the hundred four four thousand angels to what to bring down uh, 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 Esau man <laughs> and, and put his kingdom to the end establish the heavenly Father kingdom. All right. And he saw not gonna go down without a fight. He gonna scratch. He's gonna scratch and go um try to scratch and crawl his way out of it. But there's nothing he gonna do. It. He's going down. And all we doing is just reading this this book, man. We're not uh uh we're not uh being physical violent with people, man. With knives and guns like that, man. That, that goes against the scriptures. All right, right here it said Nehemiah chapter four verse one. Nothing new, nothing's new on the sun. Like it said, Ecclesiastes chapter one verse nine. Nehemiah, Nehemiah chapter four verse one it says what? But it came to pass when somebody heard that we built the wall. This basically after the Babylonian captivity, man, the southern kingdom. He was wroth and took great indignation and mocked the Jews. What is vocab alone? No, they are what? They wroth, they angry, man, because they can't get. The uh the Israelites to uh remain in their uh plantation Christianity mind control program, man. Basically their their matrix. So we're breaking out a matrix because what your house I said in John chapter three, man, he told he told uh Nicodemus you have to be reborn, man. And they angry about that that we're being reborn to what? Israelites. We going back to uh our um we going back to our former or well, our, our former state, man, being Israelites, man. Cause we, we was in our uh, fallen state, we were we were thinking that we was uh, African, African American, Negro, Latino, Mexican, Puerto Rican, Brazilian, Dominican, Native American. <laughs> All right, 
Argentine. All right. When we got reborn again, what we started, we went back to what? We went back to the, the Commonwealth of Israel, man. All right. We went back to our true nationality. We return, return into our true power, Yahweh, our true God, Yahweh, and his his son, our prince, Yahweh Shai, the one everybody in the called Jesus. And they're angry about that. It took great indignation and mock the Jews. What are they doing now? They mocking us, man. Especially vocab alone. He's uh dress, dressing up as, as Israelites in blackface, man. All right. Nobody took that video down. All right. He's uh he he he's uh that video private eye for Yahweh Shai. He's mocking uh Yahweh Shai, mocking his the uh, uh the name Yahweh Shai, mocking the heavenly heavenly father's son. He's mocking us. It was like the prophets, man. Him, his friend, you know, his friend and his, uh, you know, traitors, the reprobate two thirds in his, in his uh, videos, man. All right. And what he doing now? He's trying to assassinate what? Uh, what he doing now? He's trying to, you know, uh, uh, well, he's assassinating our character, man. He ain't trying. He doing, you know. All right, but at the end, you know, we're 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 going to uh, you know, overcome him, man. All right, with the heavenly Father help, man. All right, there's nothing they could do about the nation of Israel from waking up, man. There's nothing you do in this video. Now he thought I was talking about uh, what was it guy that Austin Smith? I was talking about this young man, uh, the twenty year old, the one that got charged of um. Uh, of being a 75 year old man and he beat up and he also beat up another early woman in the video man and i told vocab you know um i grew up around these type of people that that have mental issues and and the narcissistic people man and the people they already been it, <laughs> these people before they uh so-called think they part of a uh a group or they join a group they already had the mental issues man all right. So why you think that El Tahar put a put a decree that stop accepting people to our uh, to our accounts, man? To keep the nutcases out of here, man. All right. Now you can see right here how proud it is. I told him that 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 twenty. I was talking about twenty year old. He thought I was talking about Arthur Smith. I told him, man. He well, Arthur Smith is a nutcase anyway. Uh, before he ever came across our videos and, and joined GMS shortly, we kicked him out. <laughs> All right. So these people was already like this, man. I grew up well. I know what I'm talking about. And later in the video, I told them I said, I wear security, man. My job is to observe the certain people, man. Because you wear security, you got to observe. Uh, you got to be circumspect your environment. You got to observe people. You got to discern, man. Uh, you have to discern, discern uh, certain individuals, certain situations, man. Because uh, if you, you don't do that correctly, man, you can call, it costs your life and it costs the life of your clients. Particularly like in uh, the security guard in, uh, I think it was a month ago when at uh, uh, CBS in Ohio, the security guard stepped up to that individual and the individual uh, tried to step up to him, told him to put his mask on. The individual shot him, man. So, you know, when you work security, man, you got to discern your, your environment. You got to discern people, man. You got to discern their moods. All right. Cause it will cost you your life or your 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 uh your client's life, man. All right. So the same thing when you out there on the highways and byways, man. You got to discern the environment, certain situations. You got to uh discern and be circumspect other things and, and people, man. All right. So uh, GMS Vegas sit downs. We're not blaming GMS, uh, but we are blaming the rhetoric of GMS. And now this next case I'm going to play, you're going to see a man who just saw Hebrew Israelite ideas on the internet and decided to act them out in real time. It appears the man had some aspect of autism, but the thing is your guys' rhetoric does not help. Christianity takes gangsters and gives them the gospel. And yes, I am wearing this shirt two days in a row because I'm giving a shout out to Mr. Solo who just died. This is an honor him, and I usually don't do that, but I'm wearing this two days in a row. I'm, I'm doing that on purpose, right? Mr. Solo's right here in the middle, right? The brother was a stone-cold gangster from South Central. He became a born-again believer, and then he spent his time uh, trying to... And just, you know, uh, and that's what Vocab wants you to do, man. He wants you to be uh, a good slave, man. All right? They don't want their slaves to wake up, man. And you see how he probably boasted uh, Solo, you know, Solo rest in peace. Solo knows that now he's a Israelite. He knows that vocab. 
<laughs> that vocab is, is uh, basically a, a deceiver, man. That vocab is going, going to be a slave in the kingdom. All right? All right. To uh, preach redemption to others over hip-hop beats. That's what Christianity rightfully practiced. Over hip-hop beats. One scripture said use hip-hop beats to get to people, man. You got to come out the scriptures totally, man, to it correctly. All right, your Christianity teach madness, man. And that's why the so-called Negro Latino and Native American is, is sick, man. All right. Because it says Zechariah chapter 115, they oh, what they overflitted us, man. With that, that especially that Christianity madness, man. They taught us to hate ourselves, hate our dark skin, uh different features, discriminate against each other because certain features, man. All right. That's why people bleach their skin. They they fry their hair uh, like, in the, like in the early 19, 1930s, uh, 30s, 40s, fry their hair to get their hair straight like Esau, man. <laughs> Again, bleach their skin. Ashamed of their curvy, curvy uh, physiques and stuff like that. Why could we want to, your, Chris, your plantation Christianity brainwash us, man. To hate ourselves and to, and to hate our, 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 our true power, your how? All right, hey, our true power, you have. Oh, that's the Old Testament. Oh, we don't do that. Oh, you, oh, you, oh, you eat pork. He don't eat pork. They deserve the Old Testament. That's why that's they deserve the Old Testament. Yeah, that's what you Christians say, man. We read Matthew chapter five, seventeen. Your house uh, told us that the you still have to obey the law, statutes, commandments, man. That's in Matthew chapter five, seventeen. And then on top of that, your 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 plant is Christianity, man. It'll, Preachers be sleeping people wise and all types of crazy man man uh pastor shot uh uh shot this brother man because the brother confronted him about sleeping with his wife but that's what you and then, and then you use uh, my trav gad so-called native america you slaughter my people man because we want to accept your christianity man we know it's we know it's bs and you saw the slaughter ruthlessly man and their children man so don't come in and talk about this christianity Madness, man. That's what it is. Just total satanic witch, uh, uh, witchcraft madness. This does this to people because of the cross of Christ. Amen. In Jesus' name, that's right. Let me, let me have a church up in here, bro. Hebrewism takes people that are sad and angry and all that. Ain't no such thing. No, it doesn't help them. No damn uh, Hebrewism. That's something you made up. We obey the laws, statutes, commandments. Ain't no he. You ain't gonna find Hebrewism all throughout the scriptures. You ain't gonna find it. That's something you coined. Cause you don't want to accept the fact that the so-called Negro, Latino, Native Mary are the Israelites. Make some worse. Don't worry. You're gonna get your chance, bro. Well, you know what? GMS Vegas, sit down. Some people get tired of waiting, and that's why I'm gonna tell you right now to your face. This is going to happen again, and as your religion grows, it's going to happen more. You can blame it on the FBI, whoever you want, but it's going to... He's enchanting. This is going to happen more? He got that this word. So, you know, you're chanting the, the audience, man. All right? This is going to grow. This is going to chapter more. It's going to happen more. Be as a result of your ideology fueling people specifically. All right? That's what's going to happen. What's gonna happen? Hasmonean dynasty. Uh, how do you know? What are you talking about? How do you know Austin Smith was a nutcase? Who are you? Can't blame the Hebrews of I. <laughs> it is what I thought. I said he's a nutcase, man. All right, and later on video, you when I tell them how I know, I grew around these people, man. I grew around people that had these issues, man. All right. They 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 was already like that before they so called thought they was part of a group or join a group, man. You can't tell me nothing, all right? And I wear security. I have to discern, I have to observe and discern, uh, uh observe this discern and be circumspect of certain people in certain situations, man. All right. I dealt with him and I saw exactly how he was. I can blame his camp because I saw and I wasn't talking how his about Austin Smith, but I'm talking about the twenty year old, all right. They encouraged this. They were this is one of the this is how shy servants is one of the worst camps as far as the rhetoric that uh, I've seen. Now, like I've seen worse, but they're one of the worst. I've seen them. I dealt with them. 
What are you talking about? What do you know? Who are you? Where do you live? In a sense of, are you in Phoenix? Do you know what's going on? How do you know Austin Smith was in that case? Notice his family seemed to say he was cool before. The conflict of how he was raised and his religion, meaning changing over to your side, is what encourages the... Well, yeah, look at GMS Vegas. You can't ever, you know, deal with the facts. Christianity is a blessed religion. There it is. Yeah. What does that even mean? You know, y'all can play this game, but it is what it is. There, thank you, K-Dubs, bringing out that video. Now let's play the rest of this real quick here. 20 seconds Smith left. to four natural life sentences as a part of a plea agreement. Absolutely nothing today that can possibly change um, the manner in which uh, you were all suffering. And Smith also shot other people who were in the apartment where Ronald was killed. The judge tacked on more than 30 years for additional charges. Heather. Joey, thank you very much. Hasmonia Dynasty says, I know nutcases in the world. I grew up around nutcases in Chicago, neighborhood Inglewood. <laughs> now, listen, Hasmonia Dynasty, I've been there. Uh, I don't know if you've seen the video, but I was actually at a spot in Inglewood specifically, south side of Chicago, so I know what you're talking about. I was All there. Right, so it was um, like two years uh, ago, he came up to our camp. All right. <laughs> that was the only thing I've been. I've been Inglewood all my life, man. And I grew up around these type of people that had mental issues. I grew up around uh, psychopaths, uh, narcissists, man. All right? <laughs> you know, and that's in every community, man. Even the East Edomite community where you, the grass is green, the fence is painted white, the damn sun, I mean, the sun shine brightly, man, <laughs> throughout the day, man. All right? You got psychopath and narcissists. All right? And and and, and people with mental issues in their neighborhood, man, they just don't report it uh, often as uh, they're not being reported often in the media as, as uh, Jake is, man. All right. And I'm going to show you what the 20 year old father said, all right, about his son in there. All right. So, bro, Cavs an idiot. All right. This is the father of the, uh, the 20 year old that, that attacked uh, the elderly and the. Uh, um, in a nursing home, all right. Still trying to process all of this. I also talked to the suspect's father, and he did not want to use his name, but he says his son has mental health issues and a pending assault case out of Washtenaw County. And he says his son never should have been brought here. Yeah. He has mental health issues, got another case pending, and his son Chanel brought that. So that's the fault of the nursing home, man. That's not the fault of us. You know, vocab, you you you're a devil, man. Devil mean deceiver. All right, Diablo mean deceiver, man. All right, is is nothing? Hey, but just just any uh, uh, TD Jace. He's he's a devil, man. Cause he's deceiving. He's a liar. All right, so it ain't no hate speech, man. Just speaking the truth. And look up the definition of devil. The definition of the margin of devil, man. All right. Of a Nothing good a was gonna happen, all right. And they they put him in there because he they said he had COVID nineteen. All right, they put him there. So he should never been there in the first place, man. All right, so it's two things: the boy he the boy had mental issues, and the people the nurse nurse allow him to be in that environment around these elderly people, man. All right. And yeah, he made a scene, a video, one uh, a Hebrews like video later on. So, but that got to do with that, man. All right, the boy was a nutcase, man. He was a nutcase. All right, and we don't condone attacking the elderly people, man. Regardless whether it be a Israelite or heathen, man. All right. Seventy-five-year-old Army veteran. Video of the beating went viral and even drew the attention of President Trump, who tweeted about it, asking, "Can this be for real?" The suspect's father says his son was recently moved here to the Westwood Nursing Center because he was diagnosed with COVID-19. He never should have been put in that 
The suspect's father says his son was originally at a group home in Chelsea through Washtenaw County Mental Health Services, but then his son started hearing voices and was moved to U of M Hospital. They are at U of M Hospital. He a group home in Chelsea through Washtenaw County Mental Health Services, but then his son started hearing voices and was moved to U of M Hospital. He had demons on him already, man. He had mental issues, all right? Hearing voices. He said hearing voices, not not uh of uh Israelite videos, all right? Vocab alone, you idiot. Hospital. There at U of M Hospital, he was uh he was there because of his mental state. That part wasn't addressed. But while he was there, they did diagnose him with COVID-19. The suspect's father said because his son was diagnosed with COVID-19, he was brought here to Westwood Nursing Center. And why would you bring somebody with COVID-19 uh, a nursing center and spread it against the, 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 the uh, uh, why would you bring him there, man? The spread against, the, you know, the other elderly people, man. All right. Cause I don't see no sign saying this is a, uh, uh, you know, sanitary. This is for elder people who got COVID nineteen. I don't see none of that on their on the building. Why would you do that? All right, but this is all the fault of the the uh, people that's in charge of that nursing home. All right, partly. All right, <laughs> you know. While he recovered. He never should have been. And that's the part is oh yeah, the other part is his father, man. Cause his father should have should have been aware of that. Should have been circumspect, man. He should have been on top of that, man. If I got a child that got a mental problem, I'm, I'm gonna make sure where he's going and where's he at. took place last week Friday so did the nursing home even call Detroit police then to investigate an assault on one of their patients every time I call the nursing home I'm told no one is available to talk to me we will serve so you got a mentally mentally disabled well mentally uh disturbed young man that's diagnosed with COVID-19 and he is allowed to come into uh a nursing facility with other but he can affect everybody else he just walking around freely man and i started thinking this is this is all made up man because stuff is not adding up all right but if it's true the the boy had uh mental issues man it had nothing to do with the uh hebrew is like anything he may see it's may seen some of the videos may coming of it but uh it has nothing to do with us man so you know vocab you just uh, uh you just a devil a devil means deceiver and you you're assassinating our characters our character man but that's okay hey you how why you how shy the let is, is and they they gonna win at the end man all right and you you, you, hey, you your people going down point blank man so uh shawan